Hello, this is uh, Mike, the big weather nut. This is Josh, the junior weather nut, and today is Sunday, September 12, 2010. It is 4.30 p.m. Central, Central time. Standard Time. And today our main focus is the monstrous storm Hurricane Igor and the Tropical Depression 12 in the Far East Atlantic. And the disturbance in the Caribbean. Yes, the disturbance in the Caribbean. It's not our main focus today, though. No. Um, let's go look at Hurricane Igor first of all. There's a storm track on it. It has 140 mile an hour winds. I mean, this thing just is a monster. It it went from 105 mile an hour winds, category two this morning, straight to 135 mile an hour winds. The pressure dropped 40 millibars. That is absolutely astonishing. How that thing just rapidly intensified. It's now moving west at 14 miles an hour. We're going to go look at the uh, satellite for it. I mean, just look at that well-defined circulation. It's just absolutely amazing. It's a buzzsaw. It is a buzzsaw running through the Atlantic. I mean, you, I just it's amazing. Let's go look at the RGB satellite. It is a major threat heading towards the United States and I do think it will hit the United States. How about you dad? Um, actually if I lived anywhere from Florida to the Carolinas I would be watching this like a hawk. Um, even though as we'll show you in a moment even though the computer models most most of them want to take it out to sea I'm in total disagreement with that. Um, I absolutely believe that you know there there comes a point when a hurricane takes on a, a mind of its own and controls the environment as opposed to uh, the environment controlling it. And um, I'm, I'm going to go out on a limb and say that, you know, it's, I think it's going to stay on a westerly track longer than they're saying and could very well miss that curve. And I, matter of fact, I believe that's likely it'll miss the curve like that, like they're showing here. And These I'm going to uh, mm -hmm. stick along the lines with that the yellow one at the bottom I think it's closer to the truth as to the track and if I lived anywhere from uh, like I said the middle coast of Florida all the way up to uh, North Carolina and of course the Northeast eventually maybe but I would be very concerned about Igor. Um, Igor could end up being the biggest hit on the Atlantic coast since uh, Andrew back in 92 so Here, here's our track for uh, what what we think. Or no no no, let's let's m m fix that a little bit. Here's our track for what where we think Igor is going to go. And then once it gets up in here, you know, like he said, hurricanes when they get strong enough, they have they get a mind of their own. So eventually, this thing could just like Hurricane Andrew did, just take off to the west into Florida, or or even just go anywhere on the east coast that it wants to. I mean, this thing just a monster, has a complete mind of its own, just does whatever it wants. Um, let's go look at the model for this. This is the uh, JMA. As you can see, this is the Florida coast around Georgia. This is the east coast here. This is where they're saying in 192 hours, this is September 20th, which is about a week from now. They're saying it'll come, it, this, this model, particular model, is saying it'll come straight directly either up to Florida or head up anywhere along the East Coast here. I mean, it just, it's just a complete area of destruction, I think, right here. This is the, our, my most uh, belief that this is going to hit the United States. And uh, not many models are saying this, and this because this is, uh, there's, like I said in my previous videos, there is a small opportunity that this is going to happen, and I think it will seize it, because this hurricane's strong enough, it, could, it has a mind of its own. It could really do whatever it wants. Yep, I just I'm in total agreement with that. I I believe the, that this this computer model that we were just looking at is the closest to the truth. And um, in the coming days, we will watch the other computer models shift it west because they're wrong about it just going out to sea. All right, why this don't we is, move on? This is another uh, model, JF the JFDL. This shows uh, Igor come up, head west, and just completely start taking a north track. 
I completely disagree with this model. The reason I'm showing you this one is to show you how the, the pretty much the opposite of what I'm saying, what we're forecasting here. This is this is the Bermuda Island right here. They're saying it's going to go just east of the Bermuda Island. I mean, if it goes anywhere, it, I think that it would, this is pretty much the area it's going to hit. Right here, this is the storm track. But there's no possible way it's going to go that far east. I think this model is very wrong. Um, let's go look at Tropical Depression 12 out in the uh, off the African coast here. It uh pretty soon, pretty pretty soon, it'll become Tropical Storm Julia if it hasn't already. The hurricane aircraft is out there looking at it right now as we speak, and this is a uh, moving west right now, heading this direction. Could follow a track of Igor, but I think it will go out to sea. There's nothing really going to take it out. Um. Um. Anyway, and then the the area behind that on Africa looks like a very vigorous wave, and it's a little further south than TD12, so more than likely that one would be heading towards the Caribbean, where I believe that what becomes Julia here is going to go out to sea. Because that ridge or trough will uh, eventually be out of here, allowing this to take off directly down to the Caribbean. Yep. So that's it with TD-12. It's really not no big concern. Um, then there's an area in the Caribbean. And this is our uh, triple threat out in the Atlantic. Here's, the, here's our uh, tropical wave that we were going to show you. This is 92L. It is more than likely computer models are saying it's going to take a west track, head over the Yucatan, they're saying it's going to go into Mexico. I think it'll come up and hit South Texas. Even Corpus Christi. I mean, they're really in for it. They really do, aren't they? Yep, and I will say this too. That anything that comes into the Gulf of Mexico this particular hurricane season is going to strengthen as it approaches land as opposed to weaken. Um, that's just the way the pattern set up this year. And um, we saw that, you know, in, in uh, certain particular years. But unlike... Unlike with uh, Ike a couple of years ago, that weakened as it approached the Texas coast, this one's going to strengthen as it approaches the coast. Yeah, I'm very concerned about that coast because this could come. This could be. This is going to be Carl. Yeah, it will be Carl, and it could become a hurricane before it hits the Yucatan. And av after it crosses the Yucatan, it's going to have nothing but time to strengthen. It could be. A, I mean, it's a little. It's far out, very far out. Can't even tell what's going on at the moment because it's not a system yet. But it could very well become a major hurricane when it hits the Texas coast. Yeah. If not, at, at the very least, a Category 2. Yeah. But uh, that's it for the Tropical Update. Thank you for watching us. Uh, as Eagle approaches land in about a week, we will become start putting out more updates because we're going to be watching this very, very closely. We want to keep you very informed. And as any system approaches as, is approaching land, we'll do at least two Tropical Updates a day. Yes. Okay. So thank you for watching. And this is Weather Nut uh, Mike out. And this is Weather Nut Josh out. Until tomorrow. Everyone, have a great evening.